Another Megatron. <laughs> Another Megatron. <laughs> Another Megatron. Another Megatron. Dude, Megatron's taking over here. What's up, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman and your boy is back at it again, baby. Another banger. Another banger. <laughs> Guys, we're in Walmart. We're gonna keep doing this until we find something. And um, I'm just, I'm actually already here. So I'm just here to check up on the stock, see what we got. Because let me tell you, I'm not gonna stop. We will not stop until we find what we wanna find. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. So guys, I'm looking at it, and I love what I see. Hey, you got a phone call from 9 one I might actually go take that call. Here we are, ladies and gentle fish. Here we are. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit. There we go. This literally has not changed. So, six gun, chromia. Again, this is the store. Shut your face! This is the store uh, that we found, Studio Series 38. That was on the other aisle before they moved it. And this is also the place we found a bunch of the rampages, the six rampages in one hunt. Um, those rampages are now significantly lower. We got scrap metal in the building, baby. Check them out. Looking all hot and bothered. Drop kick. Hot and bothered. <laughs> well, look at this guy. Look at this. Wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. No, 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 no. So, he's the Bumblebee movie Optimus, but they have a Michael Bay Optimus image. That's how you know it's like not good. Section 8 Transformers. Um, <laughs> scrap metal right here. We got drop kick. We got chromia. We got six gun in the back. I got six gun in the back. Prime is a dad. <laughs> Dude, that's like the song of the year. We got Cogmans and drop kicks. We got Prowl. All that good stuff. We're gonna drop it, drop it low, girl. <laughs> we got Rampaji right here. Hi, G. There he is. This guy. Don't know why they're still on the shelves, but they are. Starscream and Starscream and Megatron. Leader of the Decepticons, baby. That's right. Let's get it. We got Megatron, the one that Leo freaked out when he first saw. Dude, he looks so good. You were like, what? He looks so what? good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that sounds. You don't even know how funny that sounds. What? <laughs> You gotta do that like every day now. Jet fire. Oh, check him out, baby. Galaxy upgrade. Optimus Prime. Second time seeing this young man. This old man, right? Is he a young man or old no, man? He's pretty old. He's pretty old? Well, I mean, come in, in Transformers years, they live for eons. They live like for thousands and thousands of years. So, so if we're over 50, bro. Yeah, well, I guess. Well, he, I guess he is an older guy. He's a, he's a man of wisdom. Optimus Prime, Galaxy Force, he got that upgrade, baby. So glad to see him again, man. Look at him, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. I don't know how to really feel about it. Like, I feel like it's a little bit messy, kind of like the Shockwave is. See how he has all that stuff? Like, I don't really prefer that. I like this better. But then at the same time, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> like, I get it's a Cybertronian mode. I just... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the body design, but this is a lot. You don't want to mess with this guy right here. But there he is, Optimus Prime, and I think he's the only one here, yep. Everything else is just shockwaves for days, baby. And we have Jetfire from Transformers uh, Revenge of the Fallen. By the way, dude, yesterday was the 10-year anniversary of Revenge of the Fallen. It's the one with, in uh, Egypt with the pyramids. What? Yeah. Ten years? It's been ten years. Came out Is in 2009. Came 2009. The first one uh, has a 12 year anniversary coming up um, in, on, in July. So that's coming up. But yeah guys, literally, this is a big week for Transformers because there's three anniversaries this week. Yesterday was Revenge of the Fallen, and there's Dark of the Moon, 
and Age of Extinction also later on this week, which you haven't seen. Dude, we should watch Dark of the Moon on the anniversary of Dark of the Moon. There you go. That may actually happen. Also, I heard you guys freak out <laughs> in the chat when I found the Marvel Legends um, Captain America. Again, I'm new to Marvel Legends hunting, so I don't know what's new and what's not. But you know what's amazing? <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> I don't see a single worthy Captain America here anymore. Like, they're all gone. Like, no kidding. They're all gone. They were all here at one point. Um, <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, um, so I'm actually kind of upset now because he's not here. I can't get him. I don't know what happened. Was it this store we saw that? I'm pretty sure it was this one. And it wasn't that much long ago, so it's either they bought them all, which I believe, because <laughs> there's been some people that apparently watch our videos that literally like live in our area. According to Leo, you met an Alfonso, which I don't think you're telling the truth. I know, I'm serious. So, so he comes up, he's like, dude, you're the guy from Alfonso's channel. I was like, yeah, where do you guys go shopping at? I was like, it's on this street. And he's like, where's that? And I was like, okay, all right. He was trying to act like where the toy room was? Yeah. I don't believe. So I just told him to tell us where to take him to the court. I don't know if you're telling the truth. I'm but serious. I don't know. But anyway, apparently there's some people that watch Look, my videos in my town, so they probably bought all this. No more worthy Captain America, which is amazing. And uh, the ones that we do have is not very impressive. So, onward. To the next store. To the next store, baby. There you go. Let's get it. Guys, I'm so weirded out right now. Leo's driving. <laughs> Like, I'm just, I'm just so used to driving my car. It feels so weird. Right. To be in a passenger seat. And like, this is insane. And not even have to drive or worry about, like, oh my gosh, hey, I, I didn't get the shot that I wanted to get. We'll get it. <laughs> I freaking can't. I don't know if I can deal with this. Anyway, Leo is manning Turbo Shock right now. No, Turbo Shock is manning me. Oh! There we go. Turbo Shock is manning me. There we go. Alright, I had to switch to my white lens so we can capture me and Leo. All right, right. here we go. Time for the road tap, baby. The first question comes from Rugo910645 on Instagram. Here's my question. What inspired you to make videos? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, I knew when I was younger, like watching Transformers, I knew that I wanted to like express what I liked to other people and my family didn't care about Transformers. They never cared about Transformers. But I wanted to find people who did. So that I can talk about it to, to people who actually care. So I, I, I kind of just like tested the waters. I was like, well, MySpace isn't working. Back when MySpace was a thing. MySpace. <laughs> right. And I thought about, well, maybe YouTube. Maybe if I make some videos and talk about it, then maybe I'll attract some people. Yeah. So maybe it was... I, I think it was just like the desire to like want to share what I like. That's it. It's not like super complex or profound. It's just I wanted to find a way to make friends online <laughs> talking about what I like. And I think I just started watching so many YouTubers and I was like, wow, dude, they do like really fun things. Like, yeah, and that. I want to do that. Like, and that's another thing, too, because like once I started and I saw all the other cool things people were doing, right. I was like, oh, yeah. Mac and Cheese TF <laughs> on Instagram says, which Transformers movie is your least favorite and why? Well, I can't quite answer that because I haven't watched Dark of the Moon. Uh, Dark of the Moon. But so it's, it's not going to be your least favorite. I'm just letting you know. Okay. I'm just letting you know. If it is, I have a lot of questions. But also, The Last Night is your favorite, so it might be your least favorite. I don't know, you're weird. Like, uh, I am. My least favorite Transformers film is Age of Extinction. Yeah. That's my least favorite. I love all of the other ones. The Last Night, really, I'm not a big fan of it. But Age of Extinction, for me, I didn't like it because I didn't like how they were, like, that was the first transition from Sam with Wiki. I love Sam. To someone else. To, uh, to Kate Yeager, and I didn't like it. I hated it. It didn't feel right. It didn't feel like Transformers. It just felt wrong. <laughs> it felt different. And I didn't like 
how Ratchet died. I just didn't like it. Didn't start? Didn't you say Star Screen dies in that one? Star Screen is in Dark of the Moon. Yeah, that's when he dies in that, right? Yeah. Your boy Jordan on Instagram says, "What would happen if Michael Bay directed Bumblebee?" If I get a be completely different. It would be absolutely completely different. And I thought they'd have a lot more action. Yes. I I think, and this is God. It's hard to say this because, like, I know Michael Bay. Right. <laughs> like, I know the guy, <laughs> and I appreciate the guy. But I f feel like, don't shoot the messenger. Or he the would. Messenger. He would kind of ruin it. Because Bumblebee's like his, the whole idea of Bumblebee was to like go back to the original aesthetic of Transformers. Michael Bay's thing was like, well, I'm gonna change it up, but still keep the same characters. Like I'll still be inspired by some of the aspects of G1, but I'm not gonna keep their designs. I'm not gonna make it too much like G1. Bumblebee's intention, that movie was to do that, was to go back to that. So, if Michael Bay was in charge of it, he would not fulfill that, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, there'd be a lot of excessive explosions, be a lot of action, but I think the way that Bumblebee was done, was done perfectly. Yeah. I think be it was done to, like, to the T, it was yeah. pretty good. And it was needed to be done at this time, especially when all the criticism against The Last Night was starting to pour out. We needed something to refresh us, to be like, all right, chill out, guys. Transformers, <laughs> Transformers still is still okay. good, yeah. So, yeah, I I have a, I just feel like he would not stay true to like what its intention would be. He would like just like put his Michael Bayisms in there. And I, I don't think that would be to the, for the best of the film, so. But I love you, Mike. You're great. So yeah, insane. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Now guys, I gotta let you know, this is a Walmart we have literally refused to come to. Right. Because the last time we came, dude, it was so depressing. I never ever wanted to come back. But I guess since it's been so long, it's been such a while. We're gonna try it again. There's, there's some hope, we'll try it again. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I hope it's not dead still. Cause that would be per that, I mean, this store would really just be like the worst in a city. It really but, would. Yeah. So hopefully, there's stuff. Yeah. I'll be honest, y'all. <laughs> the only reason why we're here is because we got kicked out of Target. <clears throat> cause I would have went to Target, right? but we can't go anymore because they're like, you can't film. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm telling you that now. You after two years. You can't film. So. Let me go there. I don't know. But anyways, we're only here because we can't go to Target, and this is the nearest store. I pledged to never come back, but I'm back. <laughs> Dude, there's actually stuff here. <laughs> I'm shook. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Imagine spray painting that black. And then we're doing like this Transformers battle. Dude, I freaking love it. Guys, look at this. There's stuff. There's things. <laughs> wow. Makes me so grateful. And they actually have a sign in the right place. I'm not a fan. I don't know anything about Pokemon, no. I have no idea what's Pokemon. They got like these things. Yeah. These things. Probably getting a couple packs of cards. Yeah. <laughs> but how, like how old? The, how, yeah. How old is he? Or she? He's in a wheelchair. He's gonna be seven. I'd get him. And I just got custody of him six months ago. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'd I'm his him. grandma. And but this stuff is so expensive. So like I don't mean like ask too much, but like, how did he get uh like paralyzed? His biological father mm -hmm. and he was two and a half came to pick him up from my daughter's house and he was seen fine and he was bringing him to the zoo because my daughter had left him and was moving here and he was on you know anything about new orleans oh yeah 
Yeah, yeah and it's yeah. very dangerous and all the 18 wheelers got whatever. He said that through. I'm about yeah. to cry. It's no, it's like, okay. Shit, I want to buy them and I want to give them a happy birthday. So we got in the, um, we got an I mean, his dad, um, uh, was weaving passing people. Oh and then, no, and then he went in the other way and just kept going. And he hit an 18 wheeler head on. These? Yeah. Like, this is the only one. Like, so, what, so if you were like looking at these, you would do one. Awesome family you can imagine because I couldn't take, they wouldn't let me have because um, oh, it, just hands. it does this. Fish up here! That's <laughs> awesome. He, and he's such a beautiful child. And he loves to catch lizards. He well, I'll get it once. No. I'll buy it. No, 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 no. You can't yeah. do that. That's okay. what I wasn't. I, I definitely can. <laughs> Just, just in case you know what this is, we're YouTubers, so we do videos. I'm actually just a toy hunter, so I go to different places. It's always on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. It's, oh my God, we have a little 19-inch <laughs> smartphone. Yeah. Well, anyway, I don't have to show you. You'll believe, you believe me. Yeah. YouTube, yeah. It's yeah, so YouTubers. we, yeah, yeah, we're on YouTube, so I go to like different stores and I tell people what new Transformers figures they have. Because I have a lot of people that watch me that like Transformers. Right. So, um, but then I'm, I'm glad I stumbled upon you. What we're going to do is we're going to go get this, Leo. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be right back. I'm going to go to the electronics uh, okay. register. And um, oh, wish you the best. And of course, he is going to hook you up with some tickets at the oh. Science Museum. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what we do. Just so that you know what the camera is. I, I, <laughs> I hope you're okay with that. Is, and now I'm fine with that. Uh, guys, we're going to get this toy for her, her kid. And... Uh, Leo is going to hook her up with some tickets to the Science Museum. Yep. And that's going to be awesome. Um, wow. Thank you. you All yours. I don't know him, but just tell him, uh, hope he has it. Alfonso and Leo. Yeah. Shameless handwriting. You are, you're getting all the Toy Story. It's not bad. It's not terrible. No, actually it sucks, dude. Well, guys, if you want to subscribe to his channel, go to. <laughs> Shut your face. Click Thanks. the link in the. Yeah. You're seeing you. We'll see each other. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Well, yeah, you'll, you'll definitely see. You'll awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I hope you enjoyed the toy. All right, I got a friend. Yeah, but you have to go like. All right, back to the toys. Let's. Nice. All right, I feel empowered now. I feel so you like energetic. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> like I didn't want to, cause like he might be. Yep. I don't know. But anyway, so <laughs> here we are, guys. Take the people. The toys are here, baby. The toy hunt continues. Um, this is a lot of stuff. So this might might just be the last door. Look at this siege. War for Cybertron Collection. We got my boy Soundwave in the building. One of my favorite Voyager class figures in the line. If not my absolute favorite, I gotta be honest. We got Starscream here. We got Megatron. Uh, we got Megatron again. Optimus Prime, baby. Look at this. Look at this. I always flip it to the back because, you know, the glare. And, you know, you know the glare kind of sucks. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Optimus Prime. And my home dog, Soundwave. We got Constructicon, Scrap Metal in the building. What's going on with this focus? Hold on, wait. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm like, where's the focus? Where you at, boy? Focus on me. Scrap Metal. We got... We got... I don't know why we have this. But we have this. <laughs> we got Dropkick. We got another Dropkick in the back. We got, uh... Sideswipe, Sideswipe, Ironhide. I'm sorry, Hound, not Iron High. We don't see a lot of Hound, so that's actually pretty cool. Dropkick again, Dropkick again, Cog, and etc. 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 So, pretty standard deluxe figures. Not that much <laughs> good stuff. But we have a lot of leader class figures down here. Holy crap. This is the most leader class figures I've ever seen in one spot ever before. Like... Quite honestly, look at this. Take take a moment. We got Megatron, Dark of the Moon, Jetfire, 
Megatron and Jetfire. Like, another Megatron. <laughs> another Megatron. <laughs> another Megatron. Another Megatron. <laughs> and another Jetfire in the back. Oh my god. Dude, Megatron's taking over here. I honestly, I'll be honest, I've never seen that many Megatrons <laughs> in one spot. Like, oh my god. I know where to come if I want to just like buy a, a crap ton of Megatrons. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six Megatrons. Dude. I hit the corner, you're just sitting on the ground. <laughs> there, you're right. There is six Megatrons here. Leader class. And there's one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, five jet fires. Holy leader crap. Class? Yeah, leader class. That's the most leader class we've ever seen, like, one in one spot. Back to this one more? Dude, I know, like, I, I was like, I'm never coming back here again because <laughs> of how depressing it was, but they changed their life. Right. They did better with their lives. I'm so proud of them. And I'm shocked this dinosaur, and now the dinosaur oh, wow. is not even... He's not even talking. Dude, this is heaven. <laughs> we, able, we were able to help somebody. We got tons of leader class figures. He's quiet. What? One Dude. Situations. I love it. I'm, I'm such a fan. We got Shockwave here. Shockwave there. And behind him is Ultra Magnus in the back. I am shook it. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to do some Marvel Legends, baby. That's right. Titan Hero series is always going to look good. As y'all see, got Black Panther, got the Hulk, right? Got Iron Man, got Black Widow and Thor. Always got some clues. Ooh, look at this. Cloak and Dagger. Holy crap. Why does he look so cool? He's like, huh, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, this store's got some good stuff. Check them out. The worthy Captain America, baby. I couldn't find them in the last store, but it seems like they just brought them all here. This is the Walmart exclusive worthy Captain America. Um, I now understand how rare this is, how beautiful this is. And yes, he does have Thor's hammer behind his shield. He has Mjolnir. If you look at it, there it is. I actually kind of like this. Exclusive? This is like the Avengers Endgame Captain America, dude. As an exclusive? Dude, sure. I... I love it. Look at this. Red Goblin, baby! The Red Goblin. Guys, I'm already loving this. I'm already loving this. Look at that, another Captain America. Another worthy Captain America. Is that Captain Marvel? Check her out. Captain Marvel was too overpowered in that movie. <laughs> she was, and you know it. I love, I just love seeing you rage over Captain Marvel. She was so overpowered. She might have been overpowered, she yeah. She's like Superwoman. Nick Fury down here, in the crevice. <laughs> I see him down there. Um, gosh, man, so much good stuff. Is that Ant-Man right there? The Marvel's Wasp. Check her out. What's else? Marvel's Wasp again. Dude, I'm I'm in love with this store. I'm definitely getting a worthy Captain America now. <laughs> Got Marvel's Domino. Another. Look at that. Marvel's Ninth Ratcher. That looks super awesome. Wow. Pretty good store. This was a, this was a good visit. <laughs> wow. I was able to find Captain America worthy again. Bunch of leader class Transformers. Yes. Freaking Voyager class Soundwave. No new stuff yet, but we met a lady that so we were able to help. Yeah. So yeah, technically new stuff. <laughs> so. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget. To that does it for this toy, huh? <laughs> Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. Um, if you're new, subscribe to the channel for more stuff. I got more stuff. Um, we got more bangers. That does it here. Leo, got anything to say? Uh, yeah. Oh.
I knew you were just gonna go. do it. I knew you were gonna do it. I was like, oh, he's gonna think about it. He's gonna think about it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This is your epic toy hunter. This is your boy Leo. <laughs> and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>